Hello everyone, this is Rob and welcome back to the third video in the Lancer 101 series. In this video we will cover crowd control abilities. At level 22 the Lancer has the following abilities to snare. Shield Bash and Shield Barrage. At higher levels the Lancer has ensnarement. This is a ranged attack on par with Rift Sergeant's Order or Death Grip for the Death Knight in WoW. To break a knockdown the Lancer has Retaliate. At lower levels there's not a lot of CC available to the Lancer. The first ability is Shield Bash. Shield Bash, like most Lancer skills, is an instant cast ability that is a 25 second cooldown. Shield Bash briefly stuns your target. The second ability that can stun your target is Shield Barrage. The catch is that it doesn't always immobilize your target. Shield Barrage has an instant cast with a 4 second cooldown. This skill causes the Lancer to move forward, attacking your target with your shield. This attack will repeat up to two hits, and the last hit may briefly stun your target. While not a crowd control ability, there is a quick follow-up attack to Shield Bash and Shield Barrage, Spring Attack. This attack allows you to leap to your foe and strike a hard blow. This skill activates faster if you use it as a follow-up to Shield Bash and Shield Barrage, and that's why it's effective. It also activates faster after three consecutive combo attacks. This is a great skill to get in some extra damage quickly after you've stunned your target. This is also on a 4 second cooldown and works well on skill chains, and is very practical as a PvP ability. The Lancer class has one CC break to start, and that is Retaliate. This is a reactive ability and requires that the Lancer be knocked down. This is an instant cast with a 15 second cooldown. Not only does this ability return you to your feet, but it also attacks your target at the same time. I think it is worth noting that the Amon has a racial ability called Last Amon Standing that improves their resistance to stuns and immobilizing effects for 30 seconds, but it's on a one hour cooldown. While not a Lancer ability, I think it's fair to say that we can expect to see a lot of Amon Lancers. One final note, the boss in this video is Karasha. You fight Karasha in the Dark Revelations quest at the end of Dawn Island. I saw a lot of people get stuck looking for groups on this quest. As you can see, he is easily solvable, and you are even given the help of a minion. That's it for episode 3. In episode 4, I will cover defensive abilities. As always, thank you for watching, and if you enjoy what you see, please subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up, and follow me on Twitter, at Graculin. I also encourage feedback below. If you have any questions, please ask.